I'm in a good mood. Why? I'm in a fucking fantastic mood. Because today the new format starts. And today's the day the pendulums are gonna conquer the entire meta. I'm utilizing some techs that you have never used before in pendulums that are fucking broken. So without further ado, I want everyone to smash the subscribe button. I want everyone to smash the like button. And stay tuned until the end of the video. Now that we're talking about Endymion again and no Sky Striker bullshit like last video, I think it's time for a huge announcement. Would you guys like a big announcement? Who would like a big announcement, baby? If you guys ready for a big announcement, listen to this. My very first playmat I've ever had, the most beautiful playmat I've ever seen in my life, is back in stock. For 24 hours only, baby! I am Endymion! Mighty Master Playmat! My very first playmat ever of the Trip Collection! Available only for 24 hours! Boys, only have 20 in stock! I couldn't post the new best deck of the format without showcasing the best mat of the format, baby! So get yours at TripGaming.com! There's only 20 left available! Last time we had the Dragon Guard playmat, 100 sold out in 48 hours! The Magician mat, 50 sold out in 24 hours! So this one... There's only 20, boys, so if you guys want to get yours right now, I'll be showcasing a combo tutorial, two different matches, as well as a deck profile, baby. Let's go! So if you guys are ready for this video, get your fucking pendulum giga brains ready, and it's time to destroy the meta. Let's go! <laughs> Time to showcase just how broken this deck actually is. I'll be showcasing a combo tutorial as well as two matches. And as you see here, we got Fairy Tail Luna. This is tech number one of my new Pendulum deck for this format. You might be wondering, why are you playing Luna? Well, Luna before wasn't that great, but Luna is good in any deck that could utilize Reflection in a great way. So I got to thinking, what deck can use Reflection very well? And that's obviously Mythical Beasts. Garuda and Salamangrate Great Turns and ends Tri Brigade turns, and it just overall decent this format, as well as the entire Mythical Beast engine with Reflection. With Reflection is very good. So Luna, the idea is to search Reflection to get all your counters going. And the only way Reflection is good is with a shit ton of spells. So that's the gist behind this new deck. Luna searches Reflection, and going second, if they're gonna Veiler your Luna, you just chain, uh, like, like chain like one Luna, they chain like two Veiler, chain like three, you, you use Luna to bounce back to your hand. Now that Luna's off the field, it bounces your opponent's card, and you get a free reflection and the waste to their Veiler. And again, Sky Striker might seem Luna might not be that good, but the idea behind the matchup for Sky Striker is they're not gonna OTK, they're not gonna even try or even attempt to OTK you to like turn four. They're gonna Hayate a few turns, etc. By then they already have a few strikers in grave, and you basically have three turns to get all their Kagaris and Shizukus and Rays in the graveyard by Luna's effect. So Luna seems like it's bad, but they could never OTK you with this because if they got trying to access Kotaki, you just Luna it away. If they try and do any funny business like that, you Luna it away. If you Luna away the Kagari or Shizuku, let's say your turn goes, they have a Shizuku on field, right? You Luna get away the Shizuku, they'll obviously protect by sending a Shizuku, right? Well, the Luna will stay until your opponent's turn. Then your opponent's turn, use Luna again to send the Shizuku. And now they're out of Shizuku for the entire game just from one Luna. Now imagine you after three turns, they're out of their whole deck. So Luna is incredibly powerful for that as well. And Luna will always give you a card in the graveyard to summon off Selene, which is something that uh, Mythical Beast decks don't have, as you guys know, that play that deck. So here, we're gonna go Crowley to draw. And soon you guys are gonna be seeing, it's gonna stay tuned to the end of the video, baby, because soon you guys are gonna see uh, some more techs and they're fucking amazing at, at how it's used in tournaments, or uh, in games and replays on Dueling Books. So as you see here, Wonder One. Wonder One is another addition, uh, because Wonder One is so good with the addition of Artemis, the new Link One. The new Link 1 can make Luna, well it's already, you could send Luna anyways, but it can make Abductor, it can make Chronograph, because Chronograph will special time gazer, and then I'll go into Artemis, and then you could Knowledge slash Wonder Wand away the Artemis. So Wonder 1 is very good with a Link 1 Artemis. Wonder 1 now says, uh, send this card to the graveyard, uh, equip this card to any pendulum you have, draw two cards. Wouldn't you play that card? Like if this card just said, if, if this card, imagine there's a new card that said Spellbook of Knowledge 2.0. If this card says, if you could uh, use this card and uh, send any spellcast to the graveyard, draw two, wouldn't you fucking play this at three? Now that Artemis is out, it literally says, equip to a pendulum, send to the, uh, equip to the pendulum, draw two cards. That's what, but, but, but send it to the action deck. That's literally what it says, because of Artemis. 
Like, it's so good. The only cards you can't use it for is, like, Mighty Master and stuff, but it's fine. Now, I you guys to see my hand, bro. I have six fucking cards in hand. I have six cards in hand. The idea of this deck is that it draws like crazy and it sets you up. It set up Cerberus Institution. They All the hand traps they can't use ever, again. I have a full setup field already. I'm gonna go Abductor instead of Mighty Master. That way I get a free plus one with the Jester Confit. And, like, it's just broken, man. This thing is insane. I'm gonna need Institution to search for my Servant. I have a full hand here. Absolutely full hand. Going second. You didn't even utilize your Reflection going second. You didn't utilize your Luna going second. You could use the Cerberus going second. You have Mighty Master, you have Garuda, all these cards that are go second cards. And you didn't even get the engine going yet. You didn't even do anything. Now to protect from the Nibiru with the Jackal. Like, this, this deck's fucking insane. Like, it's actually insane. Look at this shit. I'm, like, it's actually broken. I'm gonna put it like that. So I gotta masquerade it in the middle. Then I'm gonna use Mighty, uh, Mighty Master. I'm not even gonna, I didn't even use Selene's effect this turn. I didn't even have space, bro. I don't have space, bro. If I had seven monster, uh, main monster zones, there would be a Vortex in one of them and a Luna in one of them. And I would have 10 negates on the field with monster cards, different negates. It's just fucking broken, bro. Like, it's actually insane how good this is. Look at this. Master, Master, with counters, by the way. One of the, just one Mighty Master's game for Strikers, let alone two. And we're going to summon Luna with uh, Selene on their turn. And this is seven, this is eight negates with the Garuda in hand. It's fucking broken. Eight negates, bro. And they're different negates. It's not like Appaloosa counting for four. This is eight negates, well, each different negate. Fucking broken. I even utilized going second. He didn't utilize the reflection. The Master to blow up the board. The Cerberus to banish. The Luna to bounce. The... <laughs> The Garuda to pop it back, or all this shit you didn't even utilize going second. Daybreaker, all that shit was free. It's six interruptions going second, you didn't even use any of them. Fucking broken. Now I'm gonna show you guys some replays. I'm gonna show you guys two quick replays to showcase the power of this deck. I get hand trapped into Oblivion here in game one, but you guys will see the power game two and three basically. But you know, all that, well, <laughs> I don't think this is game three, but anyways. Uh, so here he Veilers the Luna going second. You chain, you not chain block, but you like chain Luna second effect. So if it bounces a card, you go, resolve it still. Uh, here I have an opportunity and I'm like, you know what, I'm protected with Jackal, I'm gonna go into Crowley with the Luna and Mighty Master, and the way this deck is, the way it's built, is one, uh, it snowballs, it really snowballs, it's like the second one knowledge resolves, you draw into a desire, you draw into a wonder one, you draw into mastery, you draw into institution, Mighty Master resolves, you free up a scale for servant, like it just snowballs like crazy, a, a draw two equals draw five, so, uh, I protect with Jackal. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna send Luna and Mighty Master for Crowley. And I'm gonna draw two here. And of course, he ashes and I negate. He Veilers. I'm like, fuck, that's unlucky. So I have a scenario here. I'm like, you know what? Let's go Selene into Luna. I want to protect my Selene to keep the Selene on the field. Because if Selene stays on the field, uh, next turn I'm just pen summoning them. And he can't attack Selene. So uh, I'm in a good scenario here. He normals Ray. I'm like, fuck. I use Luna effect anyway so he could get rid of his Rays. Uh, like, it's not about the turn one, it's about the turn five. Uh, even if he has engaged, it doesn't matter. Like, the idea here is it stalls for a few turns until Luna becomes, like, fucking auto-win FTK. By turn 3, Luna's an FTK. This card's actually insane, especially since you can bring it back every turn. Uh, so I get a few counters here. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough spell counters, and it was just an un unlucky hand. That was such a shit hand. Like, we opened fucking four monsters in a 60 card. We're playing 60 cards, bro. When we open four cards, we can't do anything with it. So it's a little unlucky, but it's fine. We're still gonna win here. So, end phase, he adds, there's nothing you can do. I just pen summon three. And, and there's nothing that Strikers could do to a big board like this. Even Abductor. Every time you activate spell counters, Abductor gets stronger too. So, uh, when his Kagari gets stronger, my Abductor gets stronger. He, he ends up, well, he won't be able to do anything. I uh, attack here. Uh, he sets up his graveyard for engage to be able to draw on his turn. And there's really nothing he can do. Absolutely nothing. He banishes to get some counters. Adds multi-roll. I'm like, sure, bro. I know he has Widow, so I don't want to negate anything here. Because he'll just chain it and take it. So I'm trying to use Mighty Master when he activates the Widow. Uh, so he's trying to draw into a... Uh, he drew a fusion. That was a little greedy. Because he could have roll pop. He can get into Ray. And that's just game. <laughs> it's pen best deck. We're going to go in game two here. Uh, game two is really, really fun to watch. Game two showcases how easy it is for pendulums to break boards. Like, look at this hand here. Does my hand look that good? It doesn't even look that good. It's not even that broken. You guys are going to see just how broken this really is. So in this scenario, Institution, by the way, you can search to level 1. Normal level 1, go to Artemis, Wonder Wand. So Wonder Wand's always live. Consider Wonder Wand is just another spellbook of knowledge, but it's a different name of spellbook of knowledge. So you, like, if you had two, that's why you don't play two spellbook of knowledge. You only use one per turn. This gives you another name of spellbook of knowledge, and you can actually resolve it. So I use it to bounce. This is just game. I bounce. There's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing he can do here. Like, nothing. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't even scoop at this point. 
I use Chrono, Time Gazer, Crowley. Like, this is like, you have to negate Crowley. I just wonder one. It's fucking free. Like, look at this hand. I get Luna to get another ad here. There's nothing you can do. If he negates it, he doesn't gain anything. He, he negates, so I'm like, sure, I'll chain. And then I chained, uh, so he should send a Shizuku, but he did. That's fine. Pen summon. It's fucking broke. I didn't even pen summon yet. I just used the effect of Mighty Master. I put Servant back in skill because I needed a low scale. Uh, and it's fucking broken, bro. It's fucking broken. Honestly, broken. Protect from a Nibiru in case I didn't know what the last one. It's easy game. We got one more game on our hands here to showcase the power of this deck. And here, again, we get hand trapped into Oblivion again here. And uh, we just get very unlucky here. So here, this is why I don't like Institutions. Look at this. Institutions are fucking brick, bro. It's not a good card. So here, I'm literally just forced to send uh, Souls twice. I'm just forced to do it. Because uh, the next drug won't help me. And I get Valored. I'm like, fuck. But you know, it's fine. We have Crowley. And like I said, this deck snowballs, bro. All I need is Secrets of Knowledge, and this deck snowballs with one draw. And, uh, yeah, with Secrets of I, I end up getting a blue boy. <laughs> so it's a little unlucky here. Two shit hand, two game ones, but we had shit hands in a row. It's unlucky, but this is part of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't want to show you guys just the best hands. We have two game ones where our hands were, like, fucking garbage. This is why Mythical Beasts I don't, I'm not, I was never a fan of. But, you know, it's fine, because we're going to go into game two and three. And, you know what? We bricked game one, and we won the last one. And guess what? Our opponent bricked two. This is gonna show you now just how much this snowballs. We're gonna win regardless. We're gonna win regardless. So we're gonna go Celine here. He uh, crawls both of our good stuff, so you still get Blue Boy. I mean, Crawl, you'll never be able to use it in this deck. So we go Knowledge here to draw two. This will start snowballing, man. Citadel, I don't like the card, but it's fine. Draw a little bit more here. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna uh, draw into game. So I go Souls here. I think I'm a little bit uh, greedy. I could easily on his uh, on his turn bring out Mighty Master, have Mighty Master be have an, a spell negate. Clearly he bricked, but it doesn't stop a hard drawn Ray or Rose, which I think can still come. So what I do here, I just uh, send for one, and I'm like, like I said, this deck snowballs. I could draw Wonder One, I could draw Desires, Mastery, any low scale. Like I have so many fucking low scales I could draw here. I end up getting Wonder One. Like I said, it just snowballs. Send that draw two, and like I have my scales complete, and then this is the OTK. I'm gonna OTK him right now uh, through the Bureau with Appaloosa. So, easy game. Uh, we're gonna go in game two here with us breaking. Now, game two, this is very interesting because he's gonna go first now. Uh, he ends up drag downing because he's trying to draw into something good. Uh, he gets terror forming area zero. My hand is still not broken by any means of imaginary. I don't know what that word is that uh, fucking Canadian people use. Uh, but, anyways, you guys get what I'm trying to say. My hand's not that broken, but it's still fucking broken enough to kill him. Look at this, it's fucking insane. Uh, activate it, add Reflection for free, uh, Reflection, my, uh, like, this is just easy game, bro. L look how I do that. He could have five interruptions and doesn't do anything. Uh, Lord, look at this. Reflection to Special Jackal, Reflection to Bounce, uh, Negate with Jackal, like, it's just, and I have Servant, Chrono, Allure, Soul, oh my god. This deck's insane. Especially going second. So this is the deck for you guys. 60 card because you're playing every good Pendulum card in existence. I could, if you really want, you can cut Jackal, Bacillus, Maybe one Jester, make it like 55, maybe one Luna, uh, but it's too good. Not one Luna, I would cut Reflection before Luna, Luna's insane. So, this is a deck, clearly going second is fucking broken, this is why I made this, is for going second. Going first, you're always gonna have more negates, but I'm trying to build this deck for like, really good going second. That's why we're playing so many ways to Luna, Reflection, Cerberus, they're all plus ones, and not just plus ones, but also they get rid of an opponent's monster. Uh, so, it just snowballs, it really snowballs. Magister is also good for going second. Magister is shit going first because going second, you assume your negates are going to be like fucking negated, destroyed. So after you link for Crowley, you can bring Magister back. But turn one, like sometimes it bricks. Uh, but it's all for go second. It's go second, but you're going first, but it makes your go second game way, way better. Uh, it makes uh, having knowledge basically at two. And you're playing one blue boy once you get to knowledge because you would like the normal Luna. Also, sometimes with Abductor Cerberus, you have to normal summon the Abductor. Uh, sometimes if you have both, if you don't want to get your skills clogged. And this deck's insane, boys. It fucking claps every deck, claps every meta deck. We included one Nightmare Phoenix because you have a lot of extenders in this deck, so Nightmare Phoenix will play around Anti-Spell. If you were to open one of Souls or Jester, uh, sometimes even Luna, you know, just Souls or Jester, if you open, or Chronograph. Souls, Jester, Chronograph, play around Anti-Spell. Because they're all extenders, you just crash, Special Chrono, Night, uh, Nightmare Phoenix, and then once you pop the Anti-Spell, you're good. Uh, so it's fucking lit. You're playing Drag Down because of uh, Droll. And yeah, the deck's fucking insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to do more duels with it. I'm actually going to be hopping in Raided. Uh, at the moment, I'm Raided. I'm 5-0 with Pendulum. So we'll see how I go uh, in a few games, a few days, a few days. I'm 5-0 right now. I want to go fucking 50-0, baby. Preparing for the YCS. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe and smash the like button. And don't forget, guys, that this play mat will be available for only 24 hours. It will be sold out by then. I only have 20 right now. I, I, I ordered 20 extra. It's the original, beautiful, lighting master play mat. Sexiest mat of all time. So get yours. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll sell out maybe in like a few hours if you want it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next video. Peace! Yeah,